Hello again and welcome to week six of our clogging at home videos. This is the easy intermediate level video. Uh, I can't believe it's been six weeks already. Anyway, these are the videos that I am making for uh, students in my clogging classes so that we can all keep dancing and um, we'll be able to get to start up again easily once we get back together. But anybody's welcome to join us and um, Join in, dance along, learn something new, or just do um, enjoy the dances that I'm cueing. Um, and let me know if you do. In this video, I'm going to start off with a couple of easy dances as a warm-up. One of them is the one that we, I taught last week called Fishing in the Dark. And the other is a real simple one um, that I can pretty much, it's a cue and do. And then I'm going to go over some steps. I want to review and teach some steps that our newer cloggers haven't done. So if you don't need to work on those steps, you can skip forward to the next part, which is where I'll teach um, an easy intermediate dance. The first one's actually pretty easy. Uh, there's almost nothing really new in it. Uh, and then the second one has a little bit more, some steps that will be new to some of you, but it's still easy intermediate. And then I'll just cue a couple more dances at the end. And that's it. So let's get started. First of all, I want to cue Faith. Faith, the music is by George Michael. And Michelle John Smith um, in the Clear Lake area wrote this dance several years ago. And it's, it's um, we've been doing it in Northern California for some time. I haven't done it lately for, and for, for quite a while. But um, it's one of those that you can always bring out and pretty much just cue. It's it's very simple dance. Um, the only thing I have to warn you about is that there are places where there are pauses. For instance, um, there's one place we're going to do two basics, then um, three shuffles on both feet. We don't see that very often. And one and two and three. And on the fourth beat, just pause so you get a little break so you can shuffle. Three full shuffles with both feet on the floor. Make sure you get your left foot ready for the next step after that one beat pause. Later in the dance, there's a four beat pause, okay? And I'll warn you about that. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, thought I'd bring this one back because Michelle Hill uh, cued it at, on the Worldwide Clogging Fun Dance uh, that was last Saturday night. And I thought, oh yeah, that's right, Faith. So let's just do this as a warm up. Here we go, George Michael's Faith. Now, um, the intro of the music has some long um, organ music for quite a while, so I'm gonna skip over most of that, and we'll just jump to the part where the beat starts so we can get moving right away. And once you hear the beat, wait eight counts, start with left foot, two basics. Ready, two basics. Five, six, seven, two basics. Brushes four times. Four runs, turn half, face the back. Two basics. Four brushes, double step, brush slide, double step, brush slide. Two, four runs and face front. Eight count, clog over mine. Two triples here. Clog over mine. Two triples. Two hillbillies. Two basics. Three shuffles, both feet, and pause. Two basics, back to the beginning. Four brushes. Run four and turn in half, face back. Two basics. Four brushes. Four, turn half, face front. Clog over mine. Two triples here. Clog over mine. Two triples. Hillbilly twice. Two basics. Shuffle three and pause. Then brush and turn twice to face the back. Two triple brushes. You can move forward if you have room. Brush and turn twice or a rocking chair. Face front, two triple brushes. Forward. Log over mine. Two triples. Log over mine. And two triples. Now four count pause. One, two, three. Two hillbillies. Two 
two basics, three shuffles, both feet, to end it. And that's it. Hey, easy one. All righty. Now I'm going to cue what I taught last week, fishing in the dark. So if you want a review on that, you can go back to that video or just do it. And if you make any mistakes, you can always rewind this video and do it again and do it better. Okay, so we're going to wait 16 and then start with a clog over vine. Okay, just a, t a bit faster than from normal. Wait 16 and a clog over vine with a left foot. Five, six, seven, and a clog over. Push off right. One triple. Heel sort of the basic, so to the right. Two single chugs, turn, face the back. Clog over mine. Push off right. And a triple. Heels floor to the right. Four shuffles. Turn to face front. Kentucky drag twice. Three times. Three. And a basic. One triple. Then a Charleston and turn half right. Three Kentucky drags. And basic. Do a triple. And a Charleston and turn half. One cowboy. Two basics, and add two, four toe heels. Clog over vine. Push off to the right, and triple. Heel slur and basic. Two single chokes, turn, face the back. Clog over vine. Push off right. Triple. Heel, sort of the basic. Four shuffles, turn to face front. Kentucky drags. Add a basic, do a triple. Charleston, turn half right. Kentucky drag. And a basic, do a Charleston. And a triple turn. Ah. Oh, I did that backwards, didn't I? Three Kentucky drags. And a basic. Triple. Do a Charleston turn half. Three Kentucky drags. Basic. Triple. And a Charleston turn. Kentucky drags again. This is the last time. And a basic, one triple, and one Charleston in place. I know the I should have warned you, the turns on that are a little different from the way Dieter Brown originally wrote that dance. Um, but that's the way I've been doing it for some time, so and it's simpler. Anyway, fishing in the dark. Now I'm going to go over some steps. This, this part is geared towards our newer dancers because there's steps that um, either they haven't done at all yet or um, maybe were new recently. So, first of all, a cool little combination called a toe slide. Um, first, remember in beginning class we do toe heels, is what we call toe heels. Put your weight on the toe, drop on the heel, toe, heel. So you start by doing toe, heel, toe, heel. Now it's especially important here to make sure you transfer the weight onto the toe or the ball of your foot right there. Onto the toe, drop on the heel. Okay, it's not a touch the toe, then step. Touch the toe, step. You can't do that. Right now make sure you're doing the weight onto the toe or ball of the foot, drop on your heel. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, and two more. Then we're going to add a slide. As you drop on that heel, instead of just dropping, let your foot scoot forward as you drop. And there's your slide, okay? So we're going to go toe, drop, and slide, toe, drop, and slide, toe, drop, and slide. And you're bending your knees as you drop. 
to slide to slide to slide to slide to slide. Two more. Okay, so those are two toe slides. However, they're usually done crossing behind. Notice I moved my foot back a little because it's, it's not easy to do a toe in front and slide. It's a little less um, comfortable. It feels best if you place your toe to the back slightly and slide. But you don't have to back up. Um, but So we're going to go do that. We're going to make sure the toe goes to the back a little bit, like so. And then we're going to cross it behind if you can. So it helps to keep in mind you want your feet to stay close together. Left foot behind, and you're going to go onto your left toe, slide. Onto the right toe, slide. Toe, slide. As you're sliding on one foot, the other one's swinging around to the back. Toe, slide, toe, slide, toe, slide, toe, slide. Okay, so I'm backing up as I do it. It is possible to do it without backing up if you think of it as one foot replacing the other. So if you can get that left toe under the right heel, which is here, and then that scoot forward, uh, the slide scoots you forward enough that you can do this in place without backing up much. Okay, that's advanced level. So if you're just learning the toe, toe slide, just do it simply. Uh, most of the time we don't do a whole ton of them in a row, so if you back up a little, it doesn't matter. So the important thing, what does matter, is that you put your weight on the toe and you slide as you drop on that heel. Toe, slide. And it's usually done behind. Toe, slide, toe, slide, toe, slide. Some cue it as ball slide, some cue it as step slide. I like to say toe slide because the weight's only going onto the ball of the foot or the toe. So it's, it's the same as our basic movement when we do a toe heel. Okay, so that's toe slide. Practice those and get good at them. But be aware that if you come across a toe slide, somewhere, and you're really not very good yet, you can always just replace it with a toe heel. Toe heel. They're interchangeable, okay? So don't worry about that. Okay, so toe slide is one. Um, when we did the dance, I did a quick walkthrough of Heartbreak Hotel. In that dance, there's a step called an Around the World, and it's a four count step, and we went step on step, brush or double toe across slide, brush or double toe out slide, and then, um, I don't remember if we did a tap and back or a rock step. And usually if you do it around the world, it's a touch and back, touch, slide. But now I want you to do a rock and back. So the first part is the same. We're still gonna do double to step, double to cross slide, double to out slide, bring it back, right foot, rock, step. Make sure you do that, change weight, change weight. Okay, now we're gonna call this crossover rock. There's <laughs> different names, but Crossover Rock is the name that came from Southern California. It works pretty well for us, so I, I continue to use that. So Crossover Rock, whenever you hear the name Crossover in a Step, that indicates you're gonna do something like this. That's the beginning of it. So if you hear Crossover Jump, you will probably do that, and a jump or something. Okay, just a, a clue on how these names work. Crossover Rock, double -o step, Double toe, cross up in front and slide. Double toe, kick it out and slide. Right foot back for the rock step. Let's do it with the right foot lead. Double toe, step. Double toe, cross slide. Double toe, out slide. Rock and back step. And of course, whether you double toe or brush is not crucial. You can brush across, brush out. And even if you miss the floor, it's okay. Just get, make sure your weight changes are correct. Weight changes happen on the first beat from the double toe step. And then on the last beat twice. Okay, so those are the weight changes. Crossover rock, let's do a bunch of them. Five, six, seven, go. Double step, double cross, double out. Rock step, double step, double cross, double out. Rock step. Two more times. important step to know as well, as well as the toe slide. And the next step that we're going to do uses both the toe slide and the crossover rock within the step. This is a step, one of those, we have several eight count steps, 
that pretty much everybody has to learn. And um, this is one of them, and it's called High Horse Step. And it's because it was first written and put into the dance, High Horse. Um, so it's eight counts. The first half of it is that crossover rock. So left foot lead, do a crossover rock, double to step, double to cross slide, double to out slide, back for the rock step. Okay, that's the first half, four counts. Do it, the one, and a two, and a three, and four. Your weight's on your left, your right foot's back, back here, which is the perfect position to do a toe slide. Just one of them. So do a crossover rock plus one toe slide onto your right. Ready, go, double to step. Double cross, double out, rock, step, toe, slide. That's the first five counts. All we have left, three counts at the end, one double basic. Go, double step, double step, rock, step, and you're done. That's a high horse. The whole thing, crossover rock, plus a toe slide, plus a double basic. High horse, ready, go. Double step, double cross, double out, rock, step, toe, slide, double one, double two, rock, step. I'll count the beats, ready, go. And a one, and a two, and a three, and four, and five, and a six, and a seven, and eight. A few more times, let's just do a couple more high horses. We'll put a couple basics in between to break it up. Left foot lead, one high horse, ready, go. Double set, double cross, double out, rock step, toe slide, double. Do two basics, do it again, a high horse. Two basics, one more time, a high horse. And then after you've practiced it a bunch, here's the test, turn around and face the back and test it, you test yourself, can you do it facing the back or with, um, without looking at me or anybody else doing it, okay? So do that on your own. Okay, so we did toe slide, we did crossover rock and we did high horse. Um, turkey, turkey, another a step I'm, I'm, I tend to really like. Um, so we've done this combination where you go a heel, slur, step, and a basic. The good news is a turkey is almost the same. So it's the heel, slur part that's different. On a heel, slur, step, you put your weight down on the heel. First, it's, there's a pause first. It's and the heel down and you lean your weight over onto that heel, and then you're gonna slur your right together and step on your right. That's your heel slur. Um, note that that left toe, as you gra it gradually drops as you slur the right foot to be next to the left foot. Okay, so it's heel, slur together, step. However, that's the slur. We don't, we don't wanna do it that way. Now we're gonna change the style. And instead of a heel slur, we're gonna go and heel down. Now concentrate on that left foot, snap that left toe. So you're gonna shift your weight over a little bit sooner. Left heel down, snap that left toe. Now my weight's all on my left. I'm not gonna slur with the right. The right foot's off the floor. Just bring it over and step solid next to it. So they're very similar, but the style is different. And heel down, snap the toe, step. And again, ready, go. And heel, snap, step. And then we do the basic on the end. So a turkey has a basic also. Some cue it without the basic. I learned it as all four beats, so it has the basic. So that's the way I teach it. Double step, rock, step. So the whole turkey is four beats and heel, snap, step, basic with the left. Okay, some things to watch out for. Heel down, snap the toe. Step right, and it's easy to just sort of stamp that foot and leave both feet on the floor. Make sure you don't do that. When you pick that right foot over and step on it, lift up the left. Then you know the basic has to be done with the left. Okay, turkey again, and heel, snap, step, and the basic. Let's do that to the right, pause, heel down, snap the right toe, step left, right foot's up, so you can do a basic. Right foot, turkey, ready, go. And heel, snap, step, double step, rock, step. To the left, heel, snap, step, double step, rock, step, one more. And the count is, and one, and two, and a three, and four, and one, and two, and a three, and four. 
Okay, that's the easier way to do a turkey. But a better way to do a turkey is the original way I learned it, where on that pause at the very beginning, instead of just pausing or kicking our foot out, we're gonna do a drag at the same time. Your weight's on your right, so as you kick that foot, left foot out, and we're gonna kick it a little bit to the side rather than straight forward. Start with your knees bent so you can drag, and then go into the rest of it, okay? So weight's on your right, knees are bent, you get a drag, as you drag that on the right, the left kicks out, then heel, snap, step, and a basic. And we'll do it with the other foot, so you're dragging on your left, kicking the right, drag, heel down, snap, step, and a basic. And again, drag, heel, snap, step, double step, rock, step, drag, heel, snap, step. So that gives a nicer look to the turkey. Do that if you can, work on that. But Anytime you miss the drag, it's fine. Or if you don't want to add it, or if you're having to dance on a carpet, oh, heaven forbid, <laughs> hope you don't. Um, but you know, if you don't, can't slide well, then the drags are difficult. So don't worry about having to do it. So that's the turkey. And then there's one more simple step that I just want to kind of quickly go over. We do a lot of variations of a four count rock step. Double step, rock step, rock step, rock step. We can move forward, back, sideways, turn it, etc. Um, this one we're going to do, it's still a four count rock step, but we're going to rock first in front, then out, then to the back. So left foot lead, you start with your run or double step, then rock in front, then rock out to the side, and then rock to the back. You're still lifting your weight. It's not a touch, touch, touch. It's a rock with the weight change, rock with the weight change, rock to the back. Okay, so left foot, Four count, rock around, double step, rock, step, rock, step, rock, step. Do it with the right, double step, rock front, rock out, rock back. Two in a row, ready, go. Double step, rock, step, rock, step, rock, step. Okay, I'm in California, but back east, um, that's often called a donkey. But we have a different step that we um, call a donkey, so. Um, don't use so we don't use that name. All right, so those are the steps um, that are might be new to some of you. But I also want to review three from um, previous dances that we've done. So we've gone over these, but this is just a quick review. First of all, a rooster run, rooster run, which was um, that's one of the steps in Chattahoochee. Two double steps. You move to the side, then you cross in front with the right. And then we're gonna do four quick toes to the side. That's sometimes called a pookie run. Kind of like when we do a joey, those quick toes. But you go side, behind, side. And then when you step in front, it's flat, flat footed. All right, that's a rooster run. Four counts all together. Two double steps. One, two, and then toe, 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 step. The count is, and a one, and a two, and three, and four. Okay, let's do it with the right foot lead. Right foot, rooster run, two double steps, side, front, and then toe, 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 step. Okay, let's do this combination. We're only gonna be moving it to the left, but it's good to practice it to the right also. One rooster run, and then brush and turn to face the back, and repeat. Left foot, do a rooster run, go. Double step, double step, toe, 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 step. Now brush and turn half to face the back, also called a rocking chair. Rooster run left. Brush and turn half. Okay, that's uh, the combination that we'll be using. Okay, and then a Simone stomp. A Simone stomp was a step that we used in the dance downtown. It's also four counts. It starts with two double steps in place. One, two, and then two stomps, left, right but you leave both feet on the floor at the end of those two stomps. My knees are slightly bent because then there's a shuffle or a drag slide, drag slide. However, you have to drag and then slide as you slide, lift that left foot because you need it for the next step. So Simone stomp, two double steps, go. Double, double step, double, double step, two stomps, drag, slide and lift, five, six, Simone stomp, go, and a one and a two, stomp, stomp, drag, slide. And, um, and then the last thing is a triple unclog, which we, is also in downtown. Remember, whenever you hear unclog, you know you're gonna do a stamp, stomp. Stamp hits hard, but doesn't put weight on it. Stomp leaves your weight on the foot. So um, stamp, stomp, 
is our sort of the unclogged combination. But um, if you hear triple unclogged, then you know you're going to do three double toe steps first. So left foot, three double toe steps. One, two, three. That leaves your right foot free for the stamp stomp. And you put your weight on it at the end. Triple unclog. Ready. Go. Double step. Double step. Double step. Stamp stomp. One more time. Triple unclog. Five, six, seven. Go. And a one. And a two. And a three. Stamp stomp. Okay. So those are the steps. Okay. I'm going to teach a dance. This is an easy one. Uh, this is to Willie Nelson's On the Road Again classic. Uh, there have been many dances written to this one, um, this song. This one I wrote quite a few years ago. I don't even remember what year. Um, there was one thing in it that was a little trickier than I liked. Um, so a few years ago I brought it back, but I changed that part that I didn't like. So anyway, it's a little simpler. Um, so it's, I'm just going to do kind of a quick walkthrough. There's only one step that really will be new, I think. So, left foot lead. We're going to start off with single touches. Double -to step, touch, lift. Double -to step, touch, slide. You'll do four of them just like that. That's the introduction. And then we go, and that's the only time you'll do those, by the way. Then we go into part A, which starts with two hillbillies. Double -to step, touch, slide, touch, slide, touch, slide, repeat. Then we have a regular four count vine left. Double step side, behind, side, and rock step just one time. That leaves your right foot free. Then repeat the hillbillies, but you start it with the right. Ready? Go. Double step, touch slide, touch slide, and again. And do the vine to the right. Double one, double two, double three, rock step. Then at the end of that, we're going to add two single brushes. Double step, brush slide, double step, brush slide. All of that is part A. Let's do part A all together. Left foot. Oh, let's go ahead and start with the intro. Okay, so we'll start with the four single touches. Left foot, ready, go, double step, touch, touch. Two more. Go belly twice. One vine left. Two heel bellies, right lead. A vine to the right. And two brushes. Double step, brush slide, double step, brush slide. All righty, that's A. Part B uses the turning cowboy, left foot. Turning cowboy, so triple brush forward. One, two, three, start your turn, finish it. Double step, rock step, rock step, rock step. Half turn total to face the back. Once you do a turning cowboy and you're facing the back, do two basics here. Ready, go, basic one, two. Then we'll repeat the turning cowboy to face front. Go. Double to one, double to two, double to three, brush turn, double to step, rock step, rock step, rock step. And then four basics. Go. And that's all there is to part B. So it's a turning cowboy, two basics, turning cowboy half, four basics. All right. Um, so I'm not going to put that together yet. We can handle that. Part C has a little more to it. Brush and turn, also called a rocking chair. We're going to turn half left. Ready? Go. Double step. Brush, turn to face the back and a basic. And then with the left foot lead, do two slur vines. So you move left and right, also called slur basic. Ready? Go. Double step. Slur step. Double step. Rock step. Double step. Slur step. Double step. Rock step. Repeat the brush and turn. Go. Half left. Face front. Two slur vines. At the end of that, we're going to add one double basic, two double steps, and a rock step. And then on the fourth beat, there's a pause. <laughs> okay, so let's put all that together. Left foot, we're going to do the brush and turn half. Ready, go. Double step, brush, turn. Slur line, left and right. And then repeat the brush and turn half. Two slur lines. Add a double basic. And pause. Then hillbillies. After the pause, we go back to hillbillies at the beginning of the dance. So you go A, B, C, and then we're going to go back to part A, and then there's a D section. So here's part D. Getting over here because we're going to do a clog over vine left. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rock step. Right foot's free. Do two basics. 
and then right foot again, forward and back twice, or rocking chair, ready, go, double step, brush up, double step, rock step, right foot's free, turning rock, half right to face the back, or a turning chain, go, double step, rock step, rock step, rock step, now you've got a left foot free, two basics, and that whole sequence will repeat here, facing, you start by facing the back, but it's the same footwork. Clog over vine left. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two basics with right and then left. Forward and back twice in place. Turning rocks, half right, and two basics. Okay, I think that's the instrumental part. Let's do that once, one more time. Put that all together and just a little faster. That's part D, part D. Clog over vine. Five, six, seven, go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, two basics. Forward and back twice. Turn it twice. Then turning rocks, half right. Two basics. Clog over vine. Base, two basics here. Forward and back twice. Turning rocks half right and two more basics. And from there, we're going to repeat the part with the brush and turn, which was part C. Then we're going to repeat the B, part B, which is the cowboy part. And then we get to the ending, and there is something different in the ending. For the ending, first of all, you're going to do two brush and turns in a row, turning half on each, so you'll end up going all the way around. Left foot lead, brush and turn twice. Ready? Go, face the back. And do another one, face front. And after that, I'm going to cue this as vine six brush. So this is a seven count step. We're going to do, first of all, six double double steps. Let's just do it in place first. Do six double double steps or six runs in place. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then after that, do a brush slide. Okay? So you can do that for the end, or we can turn it into a vine left and right. Do the first three double double steps left, the second three to the right. Six double double steps all together. Make sure you count six. And I don't care if you cross in front or behind. I'm going to cross behind, but if you cross in front, it works that way also. So six double double steps. Go to the side, behind, side, go right, side, behind, side, and then your brush slide. Okay? Seven counts all together. Six double double steps first, then your brush. Five, six, seven, and go. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, brush slide. Okay, so I'll keep that as fine six brush. And that is the whole dance. So let's dance it with the music. Once again, it's Willie Nelson on the road again. The intro um, is kind of soft. Left foot lead, weight eight. Five, six, four single touches. Two hillbillies. One vine left. Hillbilly twice. Vine right. Two brushes. Turning cowboy. Two basics here. And again, turning cowboy. Four basics. Then brush and turn half to face the back. Slur vine, left and right. Brush and turn half. Slur vine twice. Add a double basic and pause. Hillbilly. One vine left. Hillbilly twice. And the vine right. Two brushes. Clog over vine. Two basics. Forward and back twice. Turning rocks half right. And two more basics. Clog over vine. Basic twice. Forward and back twice. Turning rocks, two basics, and now brush.
motion, turn down, face the back, swear bind, left and right. Brush and turn half. Slur bind twice. Double basic. And then pause. Turning cowboy. Basics. Turning cowboy. Four basics here. Here's the ending. Brush and turn twice. Go all the way around. Then bind six. Brush left. Go right, and a brush. Get your hands on. All right, Willie Nelson's on the road again. Okay, and the next one I'm going to teach is called Grease. Uh, the music is from the, the, um, the show, the musical Grease. Uh, music by Frankie Valli and um, Judy Rivercombe wrote this dance. Uh, I've always liked it a lot. Uh, so a couple of new things in it, but those will be steps that I went over earlier. So um, if you want extra practice on them, you can back up a little. Okay, from the beginning, there's a 10 count weight. And then as you stand here, you're going to snap your fingers for eight counts. Um, snap your, you're going to snap eight times, but I think it's only on every other beat. Because they're cool, cool snap. Got to be cool in this dance. Okay, anyway, once we finish those finger snaps, left foot lead, clog over, slur vine. Now this is the eight count clog over, but with a slur in the middle. So it's on the fourth beat where you're, you'll do the slur. Uh, everything else otherwise is uh, normal. So double step one, two in front, three, slur behind, step, then five, six, seven, rock step. And we'll do it to the right also. Go, one, two, Three, slur behind, five, six, seven, rock, step. A regular eight count clog over vine also works, so if you forget to slur, don't worry, you end up there also. Clog over slur vine twice, left and right. And then we have that high horse that I went over earlier. So that's your double go step, double go cross slide, double go out slide, rock and back, toe slide onto your right, and a double basic. One more time, high horse, go, double a step, double across, double go out, rock step, toe slide, double one, double two, rock step. Add two basics. Then we'll do two toe pivots. Uh, sometimes these are cued as a basketball turn. Um, we're going to do a toe pivot twice. Each one will turn half. So one toe pivot to face the back. Keep your weight on your right, but your left toe pushes a little in the front. Toe pivot to face the back, weight still on your right, do it again. Toe pivot to face front. So keep that right foot under you and just put a teeny bit of weight onto the left toe to help push you around. Two toe pivots, ready, go. Touch, pivot, touch, pivot. That takes four counts for doing the two of them. And then we're gonna use that rock around that I went over earlier. Four count rock step, rock in front first, then out, then in back, and again. Okay, so we've got clog over slur vine twice, high horse, two basics, two toe pivots, so it's kind of a quick turn, and then rock around twice, and that's part A, one. Um, and we're gonna do that twice the, the first time we do this. So let's, let's run through that sequence once. Left foot, clog over slur vine. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do it to the right, one, two, Three, four, five, six, then a high horse, double step, double cross, double out, rock step, toe slide, double, two basics, toe pivot twice, go all the way around, rock around twice, rock in front, out, and back, and do it again, and then clog up the again. You're going to repeat that section um, before we go into the next part. So let's, uh, okay, let's, we'll do that much with music. So we'll go ahead and do it twice when we do it with the music. I'll start this out a little slower. It's not super fast, but it doesn't hurt to slow it down a bit. And you can hear that beginning. Get ready to snap your fingers. 10 counts and then and then snap. Four more snaps. Left foot ready. Clog over slur by and go. 
Back to the right. Do a high horse. Two basics. Toe hit it twice. Go all the way around. Rock around twice. Rock front, rock out, rock back. Clog over spur line again. Come back. High horse. Two basics. Two toe pivots. Rock around twice. Next is a cowboy. So the next thing is doing that cowboy. I do like to do it with a cross sometimes, sometimes I don't. Your choice, triple brush forward. One, two, three, brush slide, either straight or brush it across. Then keep your legs crossed for the, for the rock back part. Double step, rock step, rock step, rock, uncross at the end. And then here's where we're gonna use the rooster run. One rooster run left, go, one, Toe, 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 step, and then a brush and turn half. So you face the back. Same footwork, rooster run, go. Double step, double step, toe, toe, brush and turn half. Then there's a little bridge. We're just going to add two brushes. Double step, brush, slide. And after that, go back to the clog over slur vine, okay? So then we can repeat. So that's most of it, actually. So let's do that much. That's A1, B, bridge one, then A and B again. So from the top, snap your fingers. Left foot ready for a clog over slur line. Six, seven, and go. Come on back. Turn right, all the way around. Rock around twice. Clock over slow line. Come on back. High horse. Two basics. Toe pivot twice. Pull two. Rock around twice. And then that cowboy, no turn. Rooster run left. Brush and turn half. Rooster run. Brush and turn. Add two brushes. Father slur line. Come on back. One high horse. Twice. Rock around twice. And a cowboy. Rooster run left. Brush and turn half. Rooster run left. Brush and turn half. And then something new. Starts with basics. Okay. So this is the second bridge, bridge two. Uh, nothing hard here. Uh, I was just putting stuff together differently. We're going to start with two basics. Go. Two more toe pivots. Two brushes. And a cowboy. We're uncrossed. So it's just a different order of stuff, okay? But stuff we've up and done. And then we go back to A and back to B. And then there's a break. So this was a little different. So let's do this break. Starts with four basics. Um, we know four basics, I don't have to watch that. You can clap, clap on them if you want. You can do four basics turning around to your left. Whatever, whatever feels right. And then after the four basics, add two runs. 
And here's where we use those turkeys. Two tur actually, I'm sorry, four turkeys in a row. So you get a little bit of practice. Uh, with or without the drag. If it's a drag, then you do that immediately. No wait, no wait, no hesitation. Drag, heel, snap, step, basic. To the right, drag, heel, snap, step, double step, back, step, drag, heel, snap, step. And then repeat the rock around, double step, rock front, out, and back, and again. Then part B with the cowboy and the rooster runs. And then we're gonna add two brushes and then do the very, very ending step, which is just called cool, cool step, C-O-O-L. In other words, you have to act cool, you know, snap at the beginning. So you're gonna match, it's just, it's just, it's simple. It's just rock steps, moving sideways, left foot's free. So I usually rock and then step behind first, rock, step behind, rock, step front, rock, step behind, rock, step front. And you do those until you go off the floor or fall off the stage or whatever. Because um, the music fades out. Um, so it's just rock steps alternating behind and front. Um, but the music, it's just a little syncopated. So it's not and one and two and three and four. It's more rock step, rock step, rock step, rock step. And just listen to the music and match the music. Okay. So that's the cool step to exit. All right, let's do it from, oh, let's just do the whole thing because it's, it's most of it is just repeat anyway. So Greece, we'll do the whole thing and I'll speed it back up to almost normal. So wait 10 counts, finger snaps every other beat and then clog over slur <laughs> Turn, boost the run, 
brush and turn. Two brushes. Cool steps to exit. Very cool. I like that dance. Grease. Okay, I'm going to cue downtown. I taught this um, on one of the earlier weeks in the videos. This one I do slow down, it's kind of quick. Just one or two things. A uh, quick note, there's a run, break, and pause. It'll start with the left foot. It's just a run across or double step across as you break or lean over this right foot, then wait there, three beats. But on the last beat, you're gonna to wanna to bring that right foot out because you need it to do a triple brush forward, go. Okay, run, break, pause. Run plus three count, pause, then triple brush. Let's do that, left foot, go. Double a step, and hold, and hold, and triple brush. And then rock back. Turning push off all the way around. And a triple unclog. One, two, three, stamp, stomp. Remember that step. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. This has Samanthas. We're going to do a Samantha, a brush and turn to turn half, just like in that last dance. But then a Simone stomp. You'll be facing the back the first time. Another step that I went over earlier. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, vine over loop. When I cue vine over loop, that means start like a clog over a vine, but it's not a full eight count. You're going to go three double steps, side, front, side, loop behind, and that's it. And then we're going to do a push off. Okay. Uh, there are heel slurs in this. And triple chug. We do a bunch of those on the chorus. Basic and swing. One basic. Swing across, step, rock, step, swing across, step, rock, step, add a basic. The very end is just one stomp out to the side. Okay, here we go with Dolly Parton's downtown, weight 16. Two turning cowboys we're going to start with. Five, six, seven, turning cowboy. Do it again. Samantha wants just in place. Brush and turn half, face the back. Simone stomp here. Samantha. Brush and turn half. Simone stomp. Line over loop. And push off left. Line over loop to the right. And push off right. Run, break, pause. Right foot triple brush. Rock back. Turning, push off right all the way around. Triple unclog. Two heel slurs left. And triple chug. Heel slurs right. Triple chug. Do it again. Heel slurs. Triple chug. Do a triple roll to the right. Two cross touches. And two regular vines. Side behind. Side rock step. Again. Samantha. Brush and turn half. And a Simone stomp. Samantha's. You got just a hair. Brush and turn. Simone stomp. Vine over loop. Push off. Vine over loop. And push off. Run, break, and pause. Triple brush. Rock back. Turning push off right all the way. Double triple and clog. Heel slur twice. And a triple chug. Two heel slurs. Triple chug. Two heel slurs. Triple chug. Triple roll to the right. And two cross touches. Turning cowboy. Face the back. Do your basic and swing. Do a basic. Cross step, rock step, cross step, rock step, basic. Do the turning cowboy again. Basic and swing here. Line over loop. 
push off. Vine over loop. Push off. Round break. Pause. Triple brush. Rock back. Turning push. Triple and clog. Heel slur twice. Triple chug. Heel slur right. Triple chug twice. Once. Two heel slurs. Triple chug. Triple roll right. Two cross touches. Let me do it again. Two heel slurs. And triple chug. Heel slurs. Triple chug. Heel slurs. Triple chug. A triple roll with the right. Two cross touches. And the ending, two more heel slurs. Triple chug. Once more to the right, heel slurs. Triple chug. And add a stomp. So you end with both feet flat on the floor. And that's downtown. That's the one that I wrote a while back. And the last dance that I'm going to do for this video is Chattahoochee by Scotty Bills. Music is by Alan Jackson. I taught it a couple of weeks ago. Um, just going to do a quick walkthrough of some of the steps that were kind of new, new in this one. Uh, part A is just Kentucky drags and runs or double the steps to turn half and repeat. Part B has starts with a Billy D, four counts, double the step left, double the step across. And then you're going to step back on your left immediately, and then a, a slip or split, double do, step with a split, slide. Billy D, double do, step, double do, step, step, double split, lift. And a one, and a two, and three, e, and four. Uh, it can be started with just uh, without the double toe of the first beat. So it's a pause stomp, and step, double step, step, double split, lift. And I may do it that way some of the time because that's how I first learned it, I think. But I'll try and do it with the two double to steps at the beginning. Um, after the Billy D, we do a Catawba, basic four count Catawba. Double to step with a split, right heel on the floor, and you're going to bounce and hit it again. Then you switch to the left heel, hit that twice. Then we have one each, one right, one left, and then slide and lift. So after your first double toe, it's two right, two left. One right, one left, lift. Kataba, ready, go. Double right, right, left, left, right, left, up. All right, and it comes right after the Billy D. Uh, sometimes we have two runs or a double basic at the end of a section. Okay, uh, the chorus uses a shoot the hooch. Left foot lead, four counts. Do one run and then just a, kind of a straight-legged kick. Three steps, right, left, right. Another straight-legged kick, and then one step. That's shoot the hooch, left foot, one run, double step, kick, three steps, kick, step. It's, it's not a chug-type kick, it's just a straight kick. Um, also, on the kicks, hands go up. I had to scrunch down so you could see it. Okay, so the shoot the hooch, left foot, ready, go, double step, kick, step, 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 kick, step. And we're going to do two basics, shoot the hooch, two basics, shoot the hooch. Um, you have to do it with each foot. So let's do it with the right foot, shoot the hooch, double the step, kick, step, 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 kick, step. It's two basics, start, and this is the way I do the turns. Left foot, two basics, and turn half right, shoot the hooch facing the back. Two basics, right foot lead, to fit, turn to face front, and then right foot, shoot the hooch. At the end, there's one time where we do the shoot the hooch twice in a row. Um, what else is in here? I think that's it. Oh, we have a rooster run left, double run, two, toe, 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 step, two clap basics. Clap, step, rock, step, clap, step, rock, step. It's a two step or a step, rock, step with the clap on the first upbeat on that pause. Um, and then we're going to repeat rooster run, two clap basics to face front. Okay, let's do it. Chattahoochee. Wait, four plus 16 plus three. Start with Kentucky Drags. <laughs> One, two, go, Kentucky Drags. One more. 
One, two to face the back. Two, three, Kentucky drive. And two rounds to face front. Billy D, double step, double step, step, double split, the top up. Right, left, left, right. Billy D. Catawba. Add two runs. Two basics turn half. Face back. Shoot the hooch. Woo. Basics turn right. Shoot the hooch. Rooster run. Flat basic twice. Turn. Rooster run. Two clap basics and turn. Double basic. Three Kentucky drags. Two rounds, double step, face back, Kentucky drag. Run two to face front. Uh, Billy D. Katava. Billy D. Katava. Run two. Two basics turn. Shoot the hooch. Woo! Basics turn. Shoot the hooch. Booster run. Clap basic twice. Booster run. Two clap basics. Run two. And then two basics. Turn right half. Shoot the hooch. Two basics turn. Shoot the hooch. But do it twice. One more. Then a pause. Wait for the beat to start and count four. Rooster run. Clap basic twice. Rooster run. Clap basic twice. Face front. And that'll end it. And that's it for this week. I'll see you next time.